Hey, welcome to another episode of KyleGraham.tv. I want to talk today about, <laughs> I'm so excited about this one, an amazing marketing trick that I discovered after shopping at Amazon.com. Now, obviously, Amazon.com is a great shopping um, e-commerce site, and there's a lot that you can learn just by going to their site. Anyway, this is a killer idea, and it's something you can take advantage of and implement pretty quickly. What they specifically did is kind of technical, but the concept underlying it um, outlines a lot of stuff that you can do right away. So stick around. I will explain it to you. Okay, so the other day I was shopping on Amazon.com for a flat screen TV. I was, did my research. You know I'm a big geek. Um, so I have my son. He's, um, my son is on the way. You know, I, you know the whole story. My wife, she's pregnant and we're coming up to the time where he's going to be delivered soon. So there's only like, I'm sorry to for saying this, but there's a window of time where I have to get all my, my geek out, where I can just get all my toys and stuff. So I've been shopping for this flat screen high definition plasma TV. I've done all my research and now I'm on Amazon.com doing um doing my shopping. Well doing my shopping and over the couple days to follow I learned this this very stealth trick that they are doing to acquire customers and increase their their sales um, that is just so brilliant and I hope I can explain it in a, such a way that you can take action on some of what um, what was what I learned. So I spent a couple hours shopping around Amazon.com, but the day that I was doing that, I never actually got around to doing the purchase. I guess life got in the way or whatever, but I put everything on hold for, uh, on hold for a couple days, and I got distracted or whatever. So anyway, after a couple days, I'm just browsing around, I'm checking my email, and lo and behold, in comes this email from Amazon. So basically, the subject line says, Amazon.com two-day sale in television and videos. Now, my radar didn't go up immediately. I just naturally, I just went and clicked on it because it was a match. I immediately saw um, something that I was interested in and it came from Amazon, so I clicked on it. Um, just as a side note, getting people to open email is such a big deal. The more people you get to even open to see the message you have, the more you can increase your, your sales. So. Just the fact that I opened it so blindly um, is a testament to the success of this campaign. And that's obviously because they presented to me a very relevant subject line in their email. So when this happened, I immediately had to pause because my marketing radar is always up. Anytime I see something that makes sense or that causes me to want to buy, I always want to take notes. So. I just had to sit there for a moment and marvel at the genius of this approach. So when you read the email, it basically says, and I'm quoting now, um, something like, as someone who has browsed the televisions and video store, you might like to know about our two-day sale. Starting Monday, July whatever, save over 35% off the list price of these TVs. So. Just think about that for a second. Basically, they knew me. <laughs> they knew what I was looking for. They sent me a personal email that might as well have come from a personal shopping assistant because they knew exactly what I wanted, exactly the type of TVs I was interested in, and they know that when you offer a sale to someone, it gives them more incentive to buy. So I just had to sit back and marvel no wonder Amazon.com has been doing so well. They are a company that really, really gets it. Now, a lot of big monies, it may look like they get it, but they really don't. You can solve most problems by throwing a bunch of money at the problem, and that's what a lot of companies do. Amazon, they don't do that. They get it. The other day, I put a video out that basically said all successful online companies are huge on data and testing. They basically know what works. And Amazon.com is probably one of the best testaments to this fact. They have so much data on you and your buying habits that it probably will scare you. Um, and they actually, correspondingly, have some of the highest conversion rates in the in, in the e-commerce industry. 
So if you ever want to get some free training for of internet marketing, head over to Amazon.com with a notebook and just study everything that they're doing. Now, the approach that I'm talking about now has so much lessons in it. I'll just cover a few of them and I'll leave the rest for you to go there and figure out. Okay, so I'll just go over five of them really quick. First, they are watching everything that their visitors do. They have data on every single one of their visitors. Number two, they've attached all of this information to specific user profiles. So they have you pretty much figured out and they're always getting better and better at figuring out your buying habits. Using this data brings us to number three. They harness and process this data and they base they base this data on the buying habits of people like you. So they basically fit you into a profile and then they combine it with people of similar profiles and as a result they serve you targeted product recommendations. That is that is so powerful. And then when you they basically present you with exactly what you would like to buy and they do it in an intimate medium such as email and they add a sale to get you to purchase quicker, that is a big reason they get so much sales and it's a very big company. Okay, four, they harness the power of email. I just talked about that. Email is a very powerful medium for marketing if done correctly. You can't just blast people with sales. The problem with spam, and I hate spam, but what spam really is, is sending people unsolicited, but probably more importantly, untargeted email messages. So when you send someone um, uh, an email on uh, get free Viagra and it's a, and it's a woman, it, it doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's spam, it's unsolicited and it's stupid and evil, but it doesn't work because it does not match. It's not what people want. What Amazon has done doesn't make it feel like spam at all because they gave me a message that I wanted to hear because it was so relevant and it was so targeted. Very huge concept. They use it in the form of email. You can use it in the form of anything and I'll get to some examples on how you can use it. Final point that I'll talk about is they harness, oh I just said this, they harness the true power of email. First they harness the power of email but they harness the true power, power of email in an unprecedented way which is basically targeting their email specifically to what people want. And I cannot um, un overestimate or overstate how powerful that is. Talking to someone in a very targeted fashion is incredibly powerful for getting people to buy. Okay, so if you study their site, you'll see more evidence of this approach everywhere. So they serve you up recommendations on what you should buy based on the profiles of similar people. They don't just do it in email, they do it on the site. And they get some of the highest conversion rates you'll ever see. Okay, what does this mean for you? I said this before, and I'll say it now, data is king. Now, in your specific scenario, you may not be able, technically, to get as granular as they do, but you can get a lot you can add a lot of customization to your sales funnels with some basic things. So number one, have an email list. Number two, when you have this email list and use a tool like Aweber or GetResponse or something, segment your list as specific as possible. So segmentation means when someone comes, you want to put them on a list that represents their buying profile. So you'll have a different list for prospects than you will customers because they represent different people. Um, so stuff like that are, are, are ideas on how you can get more customized in your marketing and this can apply in everything you do um, from your blog to websites to sales pages to emails to everything. So the final takeaway before I end this video is to always pay attention to marketing. I stumbled on this but because my radar is up for great marketing things so I always keep what's called a swipe file of great marketing. Um, so anytime I see an email like that I store it in a specific folder. The final thing which sums this entire video up is to get inside your customers head. The more you know how your customers think the better you can market to them. 
All right, so if you like this video, please retweet it or join my